It seems like everyday researchers find new links that could contribute to one's risk of developing cancer. However, they are also discovering new cutting edge treatments and techniques to fight off the disease. One America, Stephanie Myers details what those treatments are and how they're changing the oncology field. Cancer is one of the leading causes of death and researchers estimate 1.7 million people in the U.S. will be diagnosed with some form of cancer in 2017. Depending on the type of cancer, a doctor will usually suggest the patient undergo surgery, chemotherapy, radiation, immunotherapy, or a combination of all these recommendations. Unfortunately, not all these treatments and steps yield success, and they come with their side effects. While chemotherapy can be effective in killing cancer cells, there's no guarantee it will kill all cancer cells and could lead to the cancer spreading to other parts of the body. However, researchers and doctors are growing more enthusiastic with the development of new cancer treatments. One of those treatments is called CAR T-cell therapy, which uses a patient's own T-cells, a type of white blood cell, to kill the cancer. Dr. Michael Pulsifer is leading the Novartis CAR-T trial at Children's Hospital of Los Angeles and explained to One America News how a patient's own CAR-T cells are genetically modified by placing a gene that allows a protein to see the cancer. There's a protein on the surface of the cancer called CD19, so it, it can see this protein on the surface and, and latch onto it. Then on the inside of the cell, um, the genetic modification has also cause the cell to be stronger and to multiply very rapidly so that it can attack the cancer very aggressively. Dr. Pulsifer described the process as essentially making one's immune system smarter to recognize the cancer. He adds that FDA's approval of the therapy in early September is a game changer for patients whose cancer relapsed. Another trial showing success for patients who have brain cancer, specifically glioblastoma, involves the Zika virus, the very virus that's associated with severe birth defects in the brains of infants whose mothers were infected while pregnant. Speaking to One America News, Dr. Milan Cheda explains how he and his research team implanted high-grade tumors into the mice and let them grow before altering the Zika virus to kill the brain cancer stem cells. The results were effective and show promise for future outcomes. When we uh, injected the virus, we compared that to a placebo where we just injected salt water. And we found that after you inject the mice with the Zika virus, in one model, they lived twice as long compared to controls. And in another model, they lived three times longer. Dr. Cheda also reassured the treatment should not affect a woman's risk of giving birth to a baby born with Zika. He expects human trials will be conducted within the next two years and could be tested to try and combat other types of cancers. Another treatment being tested comes from Duke University. A team of researchers recently developed a new type of ethanol-based gel that can be injected directly into tumors, potentially offering an inexpensive and safe form of cancer treatment. While they are excited about this alternative, they say more work still needs to be done. With researchers continuing to develop new revolutionary cancer treatments combined with clinical trials, these new types of remedies are surely changing the face of modern medicine. Stephanie Myers, One America News.